guys, Tony Clark here, and I want to thank everybody for their support, and I encourage you all to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm getting a lot of questions, a lot of great comments, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of people asking how I got on the show. Big question, how do you get on Penn & Teller Fool Us? Well, first you have to have an act, uh, of course, and uh, if it's original, the more original it is, the better chance you have of getting on the show. Uh, even though it took me four years, I kept improving the act all along the way, and it got to that point, so they put me on the show. But get an act, make it original, maybe not too many cards or coins, I see a lot of that, come up with an original act, and if you have an act and need help with it, I have a consulting service on my website, you can see the link below. But once you get the act in good shape, then it's very important that you videotape it properly. What does that mean? Well, make sure you don't edit the video. It has to be shot as one shot. They don't want to see edits and cuts. They don't want to be surprised about uh, things happening that they don't see in the act. So make sure it's perfectly shot straight on. And that's what I did. I had the pleasure of working at the Magic Castle. I did the routine at the Magic Castle. Uh, for the whole week, and on Sunday, the last night, after seven days of doing the routine for the live audience, uh, I brought in my friend, uh, Tad Nyland, great uh, videographer, editor. He came and shot the show, and he shot it just one shot, which I like anyway for magic. Uh, particularly this one video I like almost even better than the TV show, only because it's one shot, and it's a stronger act that way. I think sometimes the edits can be distracting. Uh, so what I did is I shot it, uh, we edited it down uh, to just cut the ends off, but it was one shot unedited in the middle, and I submitted it, and I got called in. Now people ask me if they tell you if you don't get in. Well, they don't tell you if you don't get in. They give you a date and say, we don't contact you by a certain date. That means you're not in. But thankfully, they contacted me after the fourth time or fourth year that I uh, submitted it, and I got on the show. And what you're about to see is... Uh, never before seen footage from the Magic Castle. It's really cool. It's a great video. Check it out. Watch the video. And this is the video I used for my audition for Penn and Teller Fool Us. And then I ended up fooling them. So it was well worth the work. <laughs> These two rings are very important because they let me know that at least three people will be Paying attention. <laughs> Maybe six. <laughs> I have to watch very closely. This is a little bit of a puzzle. Let me show you the parts of the puzzle. Here we go. The little box is folded flat. You look inside. Nothing inside. Nothing empty. Three paper napkins. A little platform. A little table the box you sit on top of. So what's going to happen is I'm going to roll the rings up one at a time into a ball with a napkin and drop it in the box. The only thing is you will not see them go into the box. So watch very close. But in the end I promise they'll be right there. Let's begin. Oh, see? 
know what? I'm gonna do it again. But I'm not gonna use the paper this time. I think the paper's confusing. So watch closely. Just do the rings into the box. Ring number one. Into the box. Let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? Ring number two. Ring number three. In the box. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like and share. That always helps. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video.